This is Andy Peroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by like heavyweight bruiser Willie Hutchinson here yeah. in Sheffield. Willie, how are you doing? I'm I, right, I'm I, right. how are you? I'm good mate, I'm good, obviously good to hear you doing well yourself. We're here yeah. in Sheffield as a couple of your camp mates will be entering the ring once again come yeah. Saturday. Start off with a headline fighter, Cal Brook, facing Mark DeLuca. How's Cal been looking yeah. in camp? Cal's been looking very sharp, you know. Um, obviously, he's, he's been there, done that, he's been world champion. He's uh, he's looking very very sharp in the gym. Um, looking very sharp, fit, and I think he uh, he could put a masterclass on on Saturday night. Kid Galad mentioned off camera that Cole's used to switch hitting earlier on in his career. We saw him today to adopt a southpaw stance. Is that yeah. something that he's been working on more so for this camp? You know what it is. It's adapting to the style, and obviously for what he's done in his career, he's been able to adapt. You know what I mean? And. I believe he'll do whatever it takes to win, isn't it? It's make a break for him. If he loses, where does he go from here? So, really, it's in the brain that he's got to win, hasn't he? You've obviously been in and around him for, for a while now from you, as your professional career has progressed. There's always been talk of that potential Amir Khan fight. Yeah. It seems to be that that's been put on the back burner in Carl's mind. He hasn't really thought about it. Have you seen any kind of disappointment in Carl that he hasn't been able to cement a big fight? Not just necessarily Amir Khan, but anybody else as of yet since his last fight? To be honest with you, I wouldn't have a clue. I don't really pay him that much attention. I'm only... Listen, boxing's... A, it's all about yourself. I, I, couldn't, I wouldn't know if he's feeling down or good. If, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If, if, it's not going to make no difference to my career. Like, obviously, good luck to him and hope he wins, but... That's, that, that's fair enough. And then, obviously, uh, moving on to Kid Galahad, who's also on the card. How's yeah. Kid been looking in camp? He's a very, very dedicated young man. Um, he's one of the lads I look up to in the gym, you know? He's a very, very hard trainer, and he's, he's very, very disciplined in the, in the sport of boxing. I mean, if anyone deserves it, it's him. He's, uh, yeah, he's very, very good. On the back of his uh, defeat to Josh Warrington, have you seen a, a different side to him? Have you seen maybe even a more motivated version of Kid Galad? How has he kind of approached this, his comeback, as he were? I don't really want to say comeback, but this, this next fight? Listen, he's, uh, for the time I've known him, he's been very, very focused. When he got beat, when he boxed on the Saturday, when he boxed Warrington, he was back in the gym Monday, training. He was back in the gym Monday, he never took no days off, he got straight back in the gym. I've never seen anyone as disciplined and as determined as him. And I think that world title is not far away from him. If he wins this, I think he'll win the world title out. And then obviously, just come on to yourself. We yeah. spoke about it briefly off camera. You're on the February 22nd show at York Hall. Yeah. You haven't formally been announced, but what is the plan for yourself and who do you know that you'll be facing, if anyone? Um, yeah, boxing on the 22nd of February in York Hall. Um, it's a big, it's an important year for me, you know. This is the year I should start making my, my stone, plant that seed. Um, and then it's up and off from there. I'm looking forward to it and I'm ready to rock and roll as soon as possible. How does the year ideally play out for yourself? How far from titles do you feel you are? If it was down to me, I'd fight for a title now. But it's not down to me, it's down to my team and it's down to my coach, Dom. And whenever he feels like I'm ready to rock and roll, that's when I'm ready. Um, but in myself, I feel like I would fight for a, for a title next. It wouldn't matter what title it was, as long as it was Summit. I mean, in British level, I think I could beat anyone at my weight. By the way, I'm doing super middleweight. That's the weight I'm doing. Light heavy is not the question. Super middleweight is, so really I'm coming for everyone in the super middleweight division. And just to quickly get your thoughts on a couple of things, I forgot to ask you for a prediction for the headline fight. Cal yeah. Brook DeLuca, what's your thoughts yeah. on it? How did you break out? I think it'll be a great fight. I mean, the fellow he's fighting is no bum. He's very, very good and tough and strong, but I could see either distance or late round stoppage. I mean, obviously, just another fight which is about two weeks away now. Walder Fury 2 out in Las Vegas. Yeah. Break that one down for me, Willie. How do you see it playing out? I think Tyson Fury will knock him out. Yeah. Well, Willie, I appreciate your time as always. I know that the rest of your camp's kind of left you now, yeah, so I'll let you shoot off. So I appreciate you hanging yeah, around. No Thanks for being to Boxing Social. Thank you. Thank you very much.